these were the shades i'm gonna oh what <laughs> no sleep from the blood sugar not the blood sugar i'm gonna eat okay let's try this again <laughs> Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we are kicking things off with this simple, well it's not really that simple. To be honest, it's a lot different than what I normally do, as I'll say later on in the video. And to be honest, I was very scared. But you know what? It's okay, we got here. Anyway, <laughs> this whole look is to kick off the Halloween season. Yes. That is right. From here on out, it is nothing but Halloween looks. And I decided why not start it off by this beautiful purple and green eyeshadow look. So if you guys are interested in how I created this, then please keep on watching. As always, I'm going to be using my beautiful blend brushes to apply my makeup. I feel like it's been so long since I've actually done like a sit down video. It feels so good and yet weird at the same time. I have two palettes out in front of me and I don't know exactly where I'm going to start, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is this one right over here, Dungeon from the Bloodless palette by Jeffree Star. I'm going to apply that on an E22 brush and I forgot a mirror. <laughs> Why do I always do this? <laughs> now that I grabbed a mirror, I can actually begin this look. I'm first going to take that shade and I'm going to place this all over the crease. And I'm also going to wing it out. That's why I chose this brush because last time <laughs> I chose like a bigger brush and it wasn't coming out exactly the way I wanted to. So. This very detailed brush will help me be very precise. So I'm going to try something completely different, something I've never tried before on my channel. This is either going to be a hit or a miss, obviously. By the intro, we can see if it was a success or not, but currently right now, I have absolutely no idea. I'm just going to go with the flow, see what happens. But I'm going to take that same brush and that same shade. Okay. And I'm now going to connect it just like this. Obviously, when you look at it, it looks a little bit weird right now <laughs> because it's like I took it in a little bit too in. But the reason why I did that is because I'm going to blend it out with another shade. Off camera, I just quickly used my E26 brush as well as my Magic Star concealer just to really make this look as sharp and beautiful as possible because although they're supposed to be sisters and not twins that's my motto when it comes to my eyebrows as well as eyeshadow they were hmm, this side hmm, she needed some work <laughs> but now i can move on to blending out these edges the question is what shade hmm i think i'm gonna take the shade high king and Maybe mix that in with Vivid Mood or Royal Pain? Don't know yet. Haven't decided. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to dip into Royal Pain with that. So I'm just going to mix High King and Royal Pain. Apply that on another E22. And I'm going to use this to buff out those edges. Next, I'm just going to take an E11 brush. This I used to prime my eyes. It just has very neutral shades on it. But you can also just take a clean brush. And I'm just going to use this to really buff out the edges of Royal Paint and High King. So they blend nicely into the brow bone and then the inner corner. Also, if you feel that, what's the shade? Yeah, Dungeon gets lost, you can always go back into that shade, lay it back down. So I'm going to take my concealer. This is the Magic Star Concealer in the shade CO. It's just 
white. This is who I'm going to be using from now on when cutting the crease. I definitely took way too much. <laughs> You think I would learn by now, but clearly I haven't. I'm going to take an E26. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Whew, okay. I'm going to start off. Oh gosh, there's no turning back now. I'm going to start off kind of like how I would normally to do like any cut crease. And then I'm just going to that wasn't slow but I'm just gonna drag it down I don't know what shape you want to call this but whatever shape this is that's what you're gonna do <laughs> now for the fun and scary part Ooh. um this side I'll take care of it don't worry about it <laughs> all right I'm gonna go in with my e16 brush and I'm first going to start off with the shade Poison Ivy, which is this lovely shade over here. I'm going to flip it upside down so I don't blind you guys. From the Blood Money palette. And I'm going to put this in the inner, inner corner. Of the eyes. So now I'm going to go into one of my single eyeshadows. I'm going to take this beautiful green one right over here. It's called Put It Back from the Shane Dawson collection. I'm going to use that same brush from before, but flip it over. And I'm going to place this right next to the shade. Oh, my voice cracked. <laughs> I'm going to place this right next to the shade. Poison Ivy. Take it about halfway. I can't get over how beautiful those two shades blended so well together. Right now on camera, I don't know if it's the light and my eyes and it's just like so bright <laughs> that it comes off almost like a blue. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things I can't tell. <laughs> anyway, the next shade I'm going to dip into is a Secret Stash. I'm going to apply that on another E16. I'm going to use this on the rest of that concealer. This is a lot of work. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the concealer as well as the E26 brush. This is where it's it can get messy. <sighs> Okay, I'm very afraid. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe off the excess. That's number one. <laughs> now I'm going to connect the inner corner of where we placed Poison Ivy and look up. I shake, so this is going to take a while. Then I'm just going to slowly, slowly, slowly drag it down. Now I'm going to take my E6 brush. This could be used for wing eyeliner or brows. I'm just going to use this to place the shadow right on the concealer. I believe I'm going to go in with the shade Poison Ivy from the Blood Money Palette. And here we go. I'm going to place this right where I put the concealer. I'm just going to take the shade Beauty Sleep from the Blood Less Palette, applying that on in E22. And I'm going to use this to highlight the brow bone. Eh, it's not a horrible shade. She's cute, but I don't know if I really like it. Let's see what Take the Crown looks like. I like both of the shades, Take the Crown and Beauty Sleep mixed together. I like that better as a highlight than just them separately. 
Next, I'm going to take the shade High King on an E7 and place this all over the lower lash line. Now I'm going to go back in with that E22 brush and dip into the shade Royal Pain and use this to buff out the edges of the lower lash line. I'm going to go back into the Blood Money palette and grab this shade all the way technically up here which is called Divine Intervention and I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Hoo hoo hoo! That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly dip into the shade Dungeon on an E. 16 and I'm gonna use this brush and really keep it close to that lash line I'm just gonna quickly hop off camera finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back all right you guys so this is the final look and I know that it took me a long time to get here because <laughs> I was going back and forth between sticking with my guns and being a little biatch to be honest <laughs> but at the end of the day I stuck with my guns I just went for it and it worked out in my favor to be honest I am so proud of myself but not only that I am obsessed with this look I still can't even process that I created this and I don't know if that makes sense, but wanting to do something and then, you know, executing it properly are two completely different things. So for it to actually work out on the first try, I, I am kind of shook about it. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the little things that I did off camera. For the eyes, I just quickly grabbed my Essence. I never know how to pronounce this. It's the Kajal, Kajal, I don't know. But it's just a regular black eyeliner pencil. I just used this on my waterline. And then for my lashes today, I am wearing the Kish, oh, the Kish? That's not English. <laughs> I am wearing the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection in the style Gala. Now, for my lips, I am wearing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Weirdo. I put this all over my lips, and then to top that off, I dipped into something I haven't used probably in like a year. I used the Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Blackmail. Holy crap. I forgot how amazing this smells. It smells like, I don't know, vanilla? I, whatever it is, I could smell it all day. And then to top that off, I used the gloss by Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Heaven's Gate. Last but not least for my highlight, I am wearing the Extreme Frost Highlight in the shade Lick My Glit. Obviously, of course, it's going to be by... Jeffree Star because his highlight is on another planet like just look at that it's gorgeous and now that I said another planet <laughs> for some reason I am just having a flashback of the Halloween look that I did last year called extraterrestrial but yeah you guys that's basically it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the notification bell as always every product used today will be linked down below in the description box i love you guys so so much and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys